What is up everyone, Safe Investor AG here. <clears throat> and today I wanna to share with you what my 10 year plan is and how I am planning to um, reach a million dollars in 10 years or maybe even less. <clears throat> so uh, I'll, I'll be explaining here, uh, I'll give you a quick review and um, the reasons why I made this plan. And to me, I think it's probably the safest and most soundest um, way to go about it uh, and um, due to my experience everyone has their own idea but I will be dividing my um, investment portfolio my in entire portfolio into four cash on hand real estate crypto and stocks now uh, I'm just gonna go over each and one of them um, just go over it for a minute or two now the importance of each uh i, I think uh, i'll make this no sweat uh in 10 years i want to accumulate about a million dollars in assets <clears throat> so now you have to remember have some risk management and this is probably um the 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 safest uh plan i found for myself uh but anyways all right, so the benefits of cash on hand we see here. When you, I wanna, uh, so I, it's 2022, it's December 31st, 2022, and then ending the year, I have about $10,000 in debt, credit card debt. Um, and I'm about to go on a quick trip. And I have invested in, as you can see, let me show you real quick. Um, in SAWS, my portfolio has dropped to 2200 okay. And um, my in my wallet, I have about $89, you can see there. So I'm in it with you guys. Know that. I'm not, <clears throat> I'm only going to accumulate a bit more uh, at a time. But anyways, oops, excuse me. There's Matt Chase. Um, okay, so, sorry. Anyways, here it is. So, um, cash on hand. I want to have cash in reserve is very important. I've, I've been kind of in, ir irresponsible, very irresponsible in not securing cash on hand. You need cash on hand. If you own a home, maybe if, um, you know, uh, your roof caves in or a pipe bursts and for some reason your homeowner's insurance doesn't want to, <clears throat> doesn't want to cover, uh, you need that cash, okay, to get you out of uh, tight spots. Uh, if you're renting, say you get kicked out because um, the property owner wants to move into that home and uh, they can literally do that. They can kick you out. So anyways, yeah, so and you, you, need, you need that cash on hand to go maybe rent a motel until you find a place to live or apartment or whatever. So, okay, uh, pay off all my credit cards. So how do I plan to do that? My uh, tax refund, it's all going to go there. I want no debt. Okay, because if you own ten thousand dollars in credit card debt on a monthly basis, you're gonna be paying somewhere around um, two to three hundred dollars just on interest. In a year, that's thirty six hundred dollars, guys. That's insane. Okay, and then do side gigs if I, if needs be, you know, do lift or whatever. Invest time in my business, uh, just make more money to pay that off. I want to get rid of credit card debt. Get them out. Real estate. Now, put yourself as a creditor. If you own $10,000 in debt to a credit card, you'll be paying a ton of interest. Now, the real estate I'll be focusing on, every year I'm gonna spend about 15K to 50K annually <clears throat> to buy real estate. Um, and then I will only buy multifamily homes, okay, annually. And I will do it for the first five to seven years. I will look for properties that will make me any 20 to 25 percent APY. That's it, no less, no less. So if I put twenty thousand dollars, I will be expecting a um, net return monthly of um, uh, annually. I mean twenty twenty thousand dollars. It would be four thousand dollars. That's it. So you see how I became um, a creditor myself. Instead of paying credit cards, 
people are going to pay me for owning homes. I will explain to you what my strategy is going to be in um, in the next video. And um, I've been researching a ton, probably uh, a little over a year. So yeah, anyways. And then um, crypto, I'm going to DCA. You can see my portfolio here. Okay. I will be DCA on HBAR. I'm only going to trust HBAR. I'm only trusting HBAR, not trusting anything else. Um, I've done my research. Uh, I'm only going to buy uh, HBAR and good coins in the HBAR ecosystem. I will stake all my HBARs to avoid trading. Yeah, because we're all tempted to trade. You know, we, we see a spike. We want to sell some. Um, but yeah, and I'm planning to hold this for five to ten years. Okay, I'm going to cash out half, maybe 70%, 5 to 10 years. The, the, the minute H4 reaches uh, 2 to $5, then I'll cash out. And then I will only buy with money I will not need. Okay, this is my plan. I will not deviate from this plan. Uh, plan excuse me. Now, stocks. How will I go about it on stocks? DCA, only major dips. Uh, same like crypto. So right now I will be DCA on H bar. Um, buy the dips, only dips, and uh, eighty to ninety percent of my portfolio will only be ETFs. The main three that I'll be buying is Spy, Nasdaq, and DTI Vanguard. The the total world index. That is it. Now, if I plan to buy uh, specific stocks. It will be blue chip stocks, uh, 10 to 20%. Um, and blue chip to me will be McDonald's, uh, Walmart, Apple, Google, Zoom. And then if I want to go into high risk, uh, um, then it'll probably Baba, Meta, Tesla. Tesla to me is a high risk. That thing is high risk. Um, if the bubble is bursting and it's trading at 110 right now, I think it's going to go to 70, 60, maybe even lower. And way lower. Um, and then no speculatives. Why? Why no speculatives? Because speculative stocks keep you up at night. You keep looking at your phone. You keep going, huh, let me see how's it doing. Oh, man, I lost 50%. Oh, man, I lost 25%. They do that. They drain your energy. The living crap out of you. They, they drain so much time and energy from you. And it's just exhausting. And then I'm going to hold for 25 to 40 years. Yep. I'm going to hold those for 25, 40 years. And same, I will buy uh, money that I will not need. Because currently, I'm stacking on this one. Cash on hand. I'm, I'm, I'm building my reserve. And I plan by June 23, I'm going to be done paying off my credit cards. And by then, I should have my cash on reserve by June 23 of 20, uh, June of 2023. Now, this is my plan. I want to show you something in this corner. Um, I had to learn a very hard lesson. Uh, and it's my fault, honestly. Uh, you can see there, that's how much I've lost each year. It's a lot of money, guys. A lot of money. First year, I attempted to day trade. You know, I, I, in 2019, you can see here, I got up to uh, 9,500. I was doing pretty good, but then I thought I knew what I was doing. I became one of the stats, and I lost. 2020, uh, I put in about 8K into AMC. I saw it go up to 50 uh, when it was around $8, $7. I saw it go up to uh, 50 bucks. Then I put another 6K, and then I saw it come back down. Like, it was it was tough. Then I made some call options made, uh, big, uh, just big mistakes. And then, yeah, I lost. And then here, 2021, I bought crypto. Uh, 21, 2021 and 2022, yes, in the massive bubble that we're all in. Um, it's been a very humbling experience. Honestly, that's why uh, you need to do your own research. People, please don't listen to idiots online. I made a video who I thought were smart and who I thought weren't. I've watched them all since 2019. 
And let me tell you, strong men hide it right. Um, uh, clear, uh, clear text, uh, the value text, clear text guy also had it right. <sighs> Matt Chase, I'm, I'm just bummed that he deleted his, um, his, um, his, uh, account. I don't know why. Uh, see, people have been making videos. Where the F is Matt Chase? He got it right. People also clowned him. People clowned all the guys that had it right. And, and then I got, um, I got my, my, my own, uh, guy that I'm following on, on YouTube for, um, real estate. And, um, he's, he's, I, I gotta say he, he's, he's very smart. He knows what he's talking about. He's been at it for 20 plus years. But anyways, do your research. Um, I think H bar. I give it five to ten years, and H bar is trading right now three cents currently as we speak. It's up here, yeah, three cents as we speak. And um, I think that thing is gonna go to three dollars within five to ten years, easily, even higher, much higher. Uh, it, it's a utility <coughs> coin. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys what my roadmap is going to be. And I will go in detail in my next video uh, with real estate. What my plan of action is. What my um, goals. But this is a mean machine where I'm expecting for $20,000, I'm expecting 20%. Uh, it would be $4,000 a year. Okay. And in the following year, I will spend another $20,000 and I'll be expecting $8,000 a year. Uh, this is a machine that's going to compound. And in 10 years, I'll be, uh, reinvest, I'll be reinvesting the same income I'll be making back into the uh, real estate. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to, in 10 years, it's going to be just a monster. It's going to make me just mad cash. But all right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, I think the two biggest winners are going to be this one and this one. This is the, the, the real estate market is about to dip another, take another dip. Um, summer of 2023, and then I'm going to take advantage uh, to buy me some. Um, might sell my house, use the equity to buy some, uh, or roll it over into a nicer home where I'm at, and then... Whatever's left over, I'm going to use it to buy. But I'm going to kickstart this because you got to start. I know fear holds you back from starting. You cannot let fear rob you from, from your future. I, I've learned my lesson. I've uh, hit my face flat on the ground. Um, I thought I knew it all. I thought I um, had it all in. I was I was wrong. I trusted the wrong people. Jeremy Lafay, he's an idiot. He's dumb. Don't trust that guy. I trusted. Uh, I maybe mean, the the was the I don't know, stop mole guy. He he just chills. Whatever is up, that's it. He just chills. What's what? Whatever stock is up, he'll chill it. And they all follow those idiots. <laughs> anyway, look at Neo. Uh, look at uh, Shiba Inu. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Um, and like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what you think about my plan. And I plan to just retire actually in 10 to 12 years. I do plan on retiring. And I will be doing updates. And I will be giving you guys um, with each the value that each of these will bring now, next uh, in my portfolio, the next video I'm going to be doing will be real estate. The follow, I've been doing crypto a lot. I'll be doing real estate. And in the following, I'm going to be doing stocks. Yes, notice how I posted here, mutual funds versus ETFs. No, I'm not doing mutual funds, just ETFs. So I'm going to save me that money. But yeah, you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.